<laughs> We've now got to get back to the ship somehow. Look at this. It is beautiful. There's, isn't space just beautiful? There's the Milky Way. Oh, it, it is beautiful. But we need to get back to the ship. We need to get back to the ship. So how the hell are we going to do this? Um, I've no idea which direction I need to go. So if I, if we set this as our target, set as target, there we go. So now I'm going to know which direction to go in because we want to go in this direction. So if we go back to here, right, when, uh, when we like take off, we can take a look at the hood and um, we can head off in the direction of the, um, the pink prograde icon. We can turn SAS back on now that we're inside. And um, yeah, I think um, we're going to take off. Yeah, there's, there's, there's nothing else to stay here for. So, um, so yeah. Yeah, okay, right. Let, let's lift off then. Uh, a little bit of thrust. 30%, I think. Oh, look how easy she lifts off. Okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to kind of let her go up straight for a bit. Now, that's not very efficient. And I'm going to watch my fuel. We haven't actually used that much fuel. Uh, but what I'm going to do now is kill the speed. And then I'm going to kind of look for the... Oh, there. There it is. We want to be headed in that direction. All right. Right. Now let's have a bit of a burn, shall we? Go for it. All right. So, here comes our uh, apoapsis going up nicely. We're going to go up to the apoapsis. Go away. We're going to go up to the apoapsis. And we'll add a maneuver at that point. And we'll just do a progress. Oh, we'll do a progress burn. And try and get ourselves kind of, sort of, ish in the same place. We're going to need to adjust the orbit and all kinds of stuff. So, you know what? Let's just get on with it. Now let's warp to the next maneuver. Here it comes. And now this should be a uh, a prograde burn. So, yeah, it is. Well, almost a prograde burn. We're, I'm going to make it actually a prograde burn because it just makes life a little bit easier. Okay, so uh, where are we? We're at T per 44. I, yeah, it kind of doesn't need to be that accurate, to be honest. Let's uh, let's just kick that off then. We'll have a slowish burn once we get out here. Now let's um, let's click on that so that we can see it, and then we'll take that up to I don't know, probably 20 maybe like low 20s that'll do actually that's close enough right then what we're going to do is we're going to go around to the the periapsis warp to the next maneuver which it's not going to do let's get out of here there we go let's warp round to the periapsis uh, well should i put yeah I'll, I'll put a maneuver in i will put a maneuver in and now this is going to be a prograde burn to something like that kind of thing. We're a bit kind of off-ish, but we'll just kind of have to adjust it as we go. Right, so let's uh, let's do this. We just want to kind of get like so that we're close-ish, right? And then I'll just uh, do a uh, some kind of like adjustment. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll let me see. let me see if I can get us into a slightly better shape and we'll come back to it. Okay, so I've just done a burn to bring our orbits into alignment. And that's actually looking pretty good now. We're only like 0 0.1 degrees out. So I think now it's just a case of um, watching our intersects and, uh, and see, like, are we going to get any like close to it anytime soon so you know what well you can watch right? like why not so we're gonna just like warp this up a bit uh and we'll 
we'll go around and see like how close we're getting. So what's, what's our position? So 228 kilometers. Now we're going faster than, uh, than the bonehead. Where is the bonehead? Oh, there's the bonehead. So we've got to catch the bonehead up. So uh, 230 and this is 226. Yeah, this is going to take a few orbits to to catch us up. So you know what? We'll come back to it. Alrighty, a couple of burns later, uh, one to correct our alignment and then another one to correct the uh, the position of the orbit and then uh, push us out a little bit. And we are looking good now. We've got a, uh, an intersect of 1.9 kilometers over here. So I think what we'll do is, where, where, where are we? 14 there. I think, you know, we'll warp around to there and we should be able to see the bonehead, which should be like, oh, there, there you go. Two kilometers away which is pretty damn awesome. So what we're going to do now is just the, the, the you know, the normal. So we'll, uh, we'll go to the retrograde, which should be down here. And we'll, uh, but look, we're only like 0.3 meters per second different. So in actual fact, there's no point doing that. Where is, and where's, you know what? I need to find our prograde. Should be over here. There we are. So let's get over here, and then, you know, I'm actually going to wait for us to get a little bit closer. Let's um, let's warp on a little bit. You get any closer than that? No, 1.7. I think that's as close as it's going to get. So at that point, we'll do a bit of a burn. We want to be at like probably around 10 meters per second would be good. Oh, look at that! Bang on, loving it. Right, so let's um, warp on a little bit. Oh, look at this. It's coming in nicely. All right, a little bit more. Come on. Okay. So we're going to be, we're going to be pretty darn close. We, 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 you know, we haven't used a lot of fuel. We have not used a lot of fuel, guys. Right. We're uh, 250 meters per second. Let's flip around. Retrograde. Target retrograde. And then we're, we're approaching, I would think, our closest point. Yep, that's our closest point. Right, let's take off that difference in speed. There we go. Right, so now... We can go to the uh, prograde again, uh, which is going to be over there. There it is. And another little burn. Uh, we're, we're only like 200 meters away, so this is going to be just a little burn. Right, three meters per second. And then we'll uh, speed this up so she comes in. Here she comes. Hey, we're home. All right, so we're like, how do we want to do this? How do we want to do this? Because I want to be on like this side and come in and dock here. So we'll kind of let ourselves drift a little bit past about there. That'll do nicely. Then retrograde. And once it settles down, which should be pretty quickly, have a little burn. We'll take off this, uh, this speed difference. There we go, 0, 0.0. So we're pretty much static. Now we could do the same deal, um, if I can see what the hell I'm doing. Point to the pink, pink prograde again, All right? And we're, we're in pretty good shape here, guys. For a, Let's just have like one meter per second. Okay, all right. So now let's turn, um, you know, I was going to turn RCS on. And, I, you know, turning RCS, doing this with RCS is probably a good idea because um, we don't have that much. Right, I'm going to spin this around so that we align ourselves with this orange line here so that the controls will do 
hopefully what I expect them to do. We can retract the gear, there we go, and we can slow down a bit now. There we go, take off all the speed. Right, now we can, um, oops, oh we're going up, we're going to come down, here we go, let's nudge down till we get into the right position. And then we want to nudge that way a little bit. Okay, cool. And up a little bit. Ooh, we're, we're looking not too bad. We're looking not too bad. Let's kill that lateral speed. In fact, we want to come back a tiny touch. You know what? I think if we just pull the nose up, we're going to get a dock. <laughs> yep, want to come around a little bit. But that's a dock, guys. That is a dock. Ow, oh, bang. Turn off SAS. And we're back home. Can you believe it? We got back home. I docked at the wrong port. <laughs> I kind of wasn't paying attention. But that doesn't matter. We've got the ladder sticking out. That doesn't matter. We'll... Uh, <laughs> We got back home. That's what's important. Unbelievable. And now we can transfer. Look at this folding away. How cool is that? Uh, we can transfer all the science that we got into here. Or at least we can transfer some of it. So, for example, if we go to, to here, right, review stored data. Okay, so we can say, right, this is um, either 40 data or we could transmit 32 science and we get a hundred percent of this so you know what we're actually going to transmit that so there we go and we're going to start transmission and we're going to send that back there we go 32 science transmitted back to me to uh, to Kerbin awesome now this one it's 150 science if we transmit it we get 37 if we put it into the lab, we get 188. So you know what? That one's going in the lab. Boom. That's in the lab. Right, now what's the lab producing? It still hasn't been added yet. Come on. Still saying 212. Come on, add it in. Okay, whatever. Um, it's... Uh, it's but it's now, yeah, no, it, that, it still hasn't got added in. Why haven't you got added in? It'll get there eventually. Okay, let's um, let's get some of the other science done. Let's review the data in the mystery goo. Again, we could transfer this back. We'd only get 25% uh, of it. So that's probably going to go into the, um, the science lab. Oh, here you go. Now it's updated. We've got 400 science in there. We're up to 2.7 science per day, right? So this again, 150 science. We could transfer 37 straight back to base. Let's, uh, you know what? Let's take the um, the baromat. Let's have a look at that. Let's review that data. This is um, 75 or 50 percent. So you see, if we transfer this, we get 30, right? Um, so you know what? We can that will transfer back. Let's transmit that data back. Oh, look, 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 one of our transmitters is automatically opening up, transmitting that data back. Excellent. All right. And then it shuts up shop once it's done it. Lovely. Thank you for that. Okay, so we've got this mystery goo. Uh, keep the mystery goo. And this is the surface. Oh, this is the surface sample. Uh, keep that. But let's try the uh, the two hot. Uh, so we want to review this data. What we got? This is twenty. We get fifty percent if we transmit this. Uh, it's only fifty data. So you know what? We're going to trans transmit that back. Right. So here we go. There it goes. Look, look. Beaming that back to base. So there's another twenty science we've got back at base. All right. So that leaves us with the um, with the lab. So let's review the data in the lab. 43 science if we send it back, but 156 if we process it in the lab. Okay, now this may not seem like a lot, 2.7 per day, but trust me, 
like this is going to run for a long 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 time and it's going to produce a massive amount of science that we can just keep transmitting back to base we've already got 3.4 science that we could transmit back so I think we're going to hang on to these um, these experiments. 43 science mm, it's really tempting but no we're going to hang on to it and we're going to process it so let's keep that so we've got those experiments in there that we can keep topping up the lab with if we if we want to who man i think it's time to um, now assess what we want to do we have got some contracts on the moon we've got a contract to plant a flag on the moon we've got kerbals that need rescuing who are orbiting the moon uh we've got um we, we've got several contracts on the moon i think guys we may take up another um a simplified version of the bonehead and take it to the moon what do you think about that idea then we can rescue some kerbals we can do some landings on the moon we can do more landings here we can get um we need to get more fuel out here right uh, and th this will stay here oh, I'm, I'm meant to tell you this this is going to stay here this is going to be uh this is going to be called minmus one right and this is um it will no longer be the bonehead we're gonna like once we've got a ton of science we're gonna build a bigger better bonehead oh yeah and this is going to end up being a refueling depot so we'll ship out some um, some like refueling containers and, and attach them to this and then ships can come out to minmus refuel and then disappear off to other planets like i wonder what planet that is no idea all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode because I have absolutely freaking loved it. If you want me to go down and do more missions, like, I don't know, maybe land on these mountains or like, do other crazy stuff. If you've got ideas about uh, going to the moon or going to other places or whatever, let me know. I'll see you for the next episode. Peace out, guys.